worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Juan Reyes will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not on the way either. When you're going good at the plate, it usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Todd Rosales will stand in. He grounded out his first time. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Now he knows he should be out of the inning already, but you know, he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Comes set. Now the pitch. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. He's through five without allowing a hit. Five innings complete. The Thunder are on top, three to nothing. Russell Haskett will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now the first pitch. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Now here's the pitch. Look out. 2-0 now. Yeah, not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Zambrano has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Alexi Vila comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ozzy Cordova will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as, yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Here it comes. Mm, really dotting the corners here with the fastball. 0-2. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. So he's through six full now, and he has yet to surrender a base hit. Seventh inning coming up. Trenton leads this one three to nothing. Peter Suggs will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away, and it's been paying off. Uh, and whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Stephen Harmon will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. 
Well, they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat, maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Butler is there now, and he has it, two gone. Marco Mateo will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh you have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. And the no hitter is gone. Brian Spanos will stand in. And Steve, with the no hitter gone now, he's got to remind himself he's still got work to do out there. Now he sure does. This game is not over by any means. You've got to take any no-hitter thoughts and put those out of your mind and go back to focusing on the task at hand. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And, and he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Add another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Thunder are on top, three to nothing. Juan Reyes will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Now here it comes. Two and one. You got to think one thing here. Get on base. A walk will do the trick. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Boy, it's one thing for a reliever to come in out of the pen and throw 100 miles an hour for 15 pitches or so. But he's right up there around the century mark now, and he's still throwing hard. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Todd Rosales. Todd Rosales is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Now a swing and a ground ball, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Russell Haskett will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 thus far. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's ready, now the pitch. Here's one that misses high, it's one and one. He's set, now the pitch. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. And he is in there. Alexi Vila will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Fouled back. First and second now, one man out. He's set, now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Ready with another 0-2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Boy, his guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Ozzie Cordova will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Pickoff move to second, back in standing. Now here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. 
that man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Two men are on with two men out. And he struck him out. 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Peter Suggs will stand in to lead things off as the top of this batting order really hasn't been much of a factor so far. Yeah, and between the top three guys in this lineup, no hits between them. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. And now pitch on the way. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Boy. No messing around here in this ninth inning. And that's a closer's mentality. They're not usually the best at setting guys up. They're going to come right at you with their best pitch. That's usually a fastball. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Can't ask for much more out of a starting pitcher. He's working on a two-hit shutout right now. Steven Harmon will stand in needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And here's a slider that's nowhere close and it's 1-0. And, oh. and the pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it but this is back into the seats. One out, nobody on. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Yellow Horse is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. And I'll tell you, I like the way he's handling himself out there. He's going after guys, he's working ahead in the count, he's keeping the ball around the plate. All the things you want to see in a young pitcher. Marco Mateo stand in now is their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. And a high strike there, 0-1. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. And this will be a called strike two, and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. And he misses there, 1-2. and two. That big curveball is not an easy one to take on an 0-2 count. That's a great job of holding on. One, two. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, just two hits were all they could muster off of him. He was in complete control from the start of this game, and he finished it off in style, too. score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. 